I'm Glenn Haynes. This is my piece. Uh, it's kind of made up from scenes about the river, uh, the Ogeechee River here. Uh, and I had decided that it would be cool to make some landscapes uh, that include a piece of trash or two because when I go on the river everything is is not perfectly pristine. It may be very gorgeous, but there's always something that somebody has left behind that doesn't um, doesn't jive. So I'm really about leaving a small footprint. So what is the name of this piece? I don't know yet. You haven't named it. Uh, Burl. We'll call him Burl. Burl? Yeah, for this big cypress burl. Ah. That may be a little too big here. Um, but this a little little channel that little channels come and go in the uh, along the river. Here's the main channel out here, and um, this little side channel as the water flows. Um, in the springtime, the trees wake up and they start taking up water. And so the water level begins to drop. And so all through the summer, it's or later into the summer, it gets to its lowest point about July and August and September. And then, then as trees slow down, they start using less water and the water level begins to rise. I used to think it was about rainfall in the watershed, but it's really not. It's about what the trees are doing, the billions of trees. Eventually I'll have this darker and some foliage and then some um, lighter highlights out on the main channel where there's more sunlight. So your statement about nature and leaving a small footprint. Why is this important to you? Well, I just think that we don't have a right to, um, just like, you know, you wouldn't pollute in your house. Um, you, you wouldn't throw a candy wrapper down in your house or your yard. And I think the world is our house, it's our yard. And uh, we don't have, uh, it's just not good manners. Mama didn't teach you that way. Uh, and where are you originally from? Um, that's, um, it's a tough question. Pittsburgh, but San Diego, six years, and then Alabama, most of my life growing up. Okay. Tell me a little bit about this old house you bought and what you want to do with it. I bought it when I got divorced, and I had to have a place to live, and I didn't, didn't want to pay rent. And so I love the idea of potential. And this house, I think, had a lot of potential, has a lot of potential. Unfortunately, it still has it because I haven't done much to it. So I bought it primarily to avoid paying rent. And so by now, it's probably saved me about uh, maybe $40,000 in rent so far. And, it, and meanwhile, it's probably appreciated a little bit. So it was a good deal. I thought about doing art lessons and music lessons in this house, and um, I haven't done that. I didn't have central air or heat when I first bought it. I have, finally have that now, but I still haven't really set up much in the way of teaching. So you have a goal to go in that direction? Right? Yes, it's, it's still full of potential that way to, to do some teaching. I wonder why I didn't clean my brushes very well last time. Chicken wire in the bottom of the peanut butter jar with some mineral spirits. Chicken wire gives you something to rake the brush off on. Mineral spirits, all the, the solids will settle out. And I've used this same little jar of mineral spirits for years and years and years and the mineral spirits stay good and the solids settle out and I add a little bit every now and then and put a lid on it when I don't use it.
Okay. We'll talk again next week.